If you are like me and you don't like the traditional date and time picker, then this is the perfect video for you because I'm gonna show you one amazing UI component which is fully customizable. This is an open source library that allows you to use this component in a Compose multi-platform, which means we can use it on both Android and iOS among others. The link of this repository will be down in the video description. By the way, here you can see many different properties that you can customize. This date and time picker can be displayed as a bottom sheet or as a dialog. I prefer a dialog because of one a small UI glitch that I have found while using this component as a bottom sheet. I will show you that in a moment. Alright, so here I have prepared one demo project. So be sure to add this dependency into your common main source set and you're good to go. Now, on the center of our screen, I will add the button that we're gonna use to open up this date and time picker. Then, we can add one state variable that will hold a boolean value. Great. So, there are three different components in this library. Will date picker view, will time picker view, and the will date time picker view. For now, I'm gonna use a date picker, but you can choose any one of your choice. The only required parameter that you're gonna see here is a height. The height represents the size of the wheel box. And I will show you that in a moment. But for now, just specify this value to be, for example, 200 dp. Next, we can pass that a boolean state to indicate when this component should appear and disappear. After that, we can choose a view to be either a dialog or a bottom sheet. I will choose a bottom sheet for now. The next parameter that you can customize is a row count. A default value is the number 3, but you can increase this number of visible dates in the wheel picker. However, I do recommend using a default number 3, because that way this component will look the best. After that, we have uh, two useful lambdas, on done click and on dismiss. The first lambda also provides us a local date object that we have selected from the component. That's also a place where we can uh, change our boolean state back to false, because when we click a done button, it will not uh, automatically disappear. Also, I don't like this component's default styles for the title and the done button, which is why I'm gonna customize them right here. And finally, the last parameter that I want to customize is year's range. Here you can set the minimum and the maximum year that you want to support. We are using an int range here, which is pretty neat. Finally, let's launch the application to inspect this component in more details. As you can see, when the button is pressed, this component will appear. When we click somewhere else outside of this bottom sheet, then it will automatically disappear. Also, when we click a done button, it will disappear, plus our log will be printed in the log cat. Now, see here, those are three rows that I was uh, talking about earlier, and that's a default value. You can customize that value, but I suggest not to, because the three items are uh, totally okay. Now, about that uh, glitch that I have talked about earlier with the bottom sheet. That uh, glitch will appear when we reach the end value from uh, one of those wheels. As you can see, there is a conflict between uh, this uh, wheel and the bottom sheet parent when we are trying to move this wheel. It's not a big deal, but it's still noticeable. Anyhow, now let's go back to our project and I will add uh, one more parameter, show short months equal to true. And also, we can change this view to a dialog now. Great. Let's launch this application once again. And when the button is pressed, a dialog will appear instead of the bottom sheet. It works great. Let's also launch this application on an iOS simulator to see if this component works pretty much the same. Open up the Xcode and launch the simulator. As you can see, it uh, looks like and uh, works the same way as uh, in our Android emulator. So there you go. What do you think about this component? Do you prefer an old traditional date and time picker? Or do you like this uh, wheel even more? Comment down below and let me know. Other than that, don't forget to leave a like, but only if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.
lay me down to rest. 